After weeks of cry over government's delay in releasing allowances, the National Paralympics team can breathe a sigh of relief after receiving their local allowances from the sports ministry. However, the ministry has been challenged to execute equality in matters service to hold sports women and men regardless of whether they are disabled or not. The ministry needs to itself, because it is the responsibility of the ministry, to basically kind of educate and inform and, and, and help the, the various uh, groups, the various federations uh, to come together and to put up a, a program that is basically um, um, that is in line with the calendar of events. The team that took part in the Olympic qualifiers in Morocco claimed 11 gold medals, 14 silver and 17 bronze medals, finishing in the fourth position overall out of 26 nations. It is all about sports, but I think it's only that um, either maybe moving forward, we want to see a way in which we want to, 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 to really forge that relationship. There has really not been a very good relationship between the Ministry of Sports and, um, and especially persons with disabilities who are participating in sports. This thing is only avoidable if we enact that Sports Finance Act. That one is the one which is going to assist us because in, uh, per year we'll be getting 15 billion and we have got so many people who have not been rewarded. The athletes, the football team. The team now shifts its attention to the second round of qualification that will be held this September in Dubai as it waits for their overseas allowances from the government. Frederick Muki for Channel One Sports.